Hi guys and welcome to another beer review. Today we've got something that should be pretty special, mainly because it's from a brewery that I've wanted to try for such a long time, but I've never rarely had the opportunity to try any of their beers. And this appeared in Beretta fairly recently, so I thought, you know what? Before it gets sold out, I'm going to pick up a bottle and give it a try. It's a Friday night, it's coming up towards, or it's probably past 9 o'clock now, and I want a beer that's going to see me through the evening. Yeah, we're going over to Amsterdam in the Netherlands to the Oedipus Brewery, and we're looking at the Kinder Yoga, which is clocking in at 11%, and it's an Imperial Stout. So, first things first, just absolutely beautiful artwork right there. Let me just get a little bit closer with that. Yeah, fantastic stuff. Very, very vibrant indeed. It stands out. And this comes courtesy of Sasa Ostoya. Apologies if I've completely butchered that pronunciation. But this, to me, is just as hipsterish as it sounds. This is like craft as fuck as far as I'm concerned. So beer was bottled on 8th of the 11th 2016 and has a best before date of 8th of the 11th 2019 and I think this beer was initially introduced in 2015. I could be wrong. Um, I think they do barrel aged variants on this beer as well but I think this is their strongest beer that they do. I will put a link down below to their English language website so you can find out more about the brewery and the beers themselves. And to top off a beautifully presented bottle, we have an absolutely fantastic crown. So hopefully this label is going to come off easily and I'm definitely keeping that for sure. So yeah, an Imperial Stout 11% ABV. Very, very much looking forward to this one, ladies and gentlemen. So not too much in terms of smoke. This is pretty much room temperature. I didn't want to chill this one at all because I wanted to get all of those flavours. And just look at that. It's just pouring in such a decadent manner already. Not really like an oil slick like some Imperial Stouts. But when you have it in the glass, just look how creamy that head is. So, yeah, that is jet black. No light coming through that at all. You could just about see some nice carbonation going up the side of that glass. Beer poured with just around two fingers worth of a light mocha head. Just look at that. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. It's just so rich and inviting already on the appearance. I won't pour it all in so I can get my nose in there. Speaking of which, let's give it a sniff. You instantly hit with this really lovely hoppy tone. And then once that hoppiness resides slightly, you go in there and you get this lovely slightly milk chocolate mixed in with a dark chocolate character. There's a slight hint of a sweetened coffee in there, almost as if you've sweetened it with like a caramel syrup or something along those lines. And then you also get these really nice dark fruits. It smells fantastic. There's nothing in there that's overwhelming. Even though you get that hoppy presence, it's not in your face. I'm getting like a slightly burnt sweet character in there as well. <sighs> Cakey, desserty. Very dense, very decadent, but it's got a real sense of, uh, like, a gentleness as well. Big boost of vanilla out of nowhere there. This is one of those beers that you could probably spend absolutely ages picking out individual flavours and characteristics. But that hoppiness, just... Most Imperial Stouts aren't really hopped that much. But I think what these guys were going for was, according from what I remember reading on their website, they tried so many fantastic American Imperial Stouts. So they took influence from that, but they wanted to add some hops in there. 
and you definitely get that. It's not being overwhelmed at all by those hops. They just add such a, a lovely layer to what is an already beautiful smelling beer. Like I'm getting little chocolate eclair sweets as well. It's just fantastic. I could go on and on and on on the aroma alone. But I won't, so let's just get into the flavour. Cheers. Oh yeah. Just like on the aroma, you pick out those hops, but they're really not in your face. They're not intrusive. They let those other flavours come into play, but it just adds that little bit of a edge to the beer. I get a real smoky flavour in there. Almost like slightly burnt bread but then you get these lovely robust sweet tones in there like a really nice brown sugar almost like a like a dark chocolate brownie as well body is a little bit thinner than what i was expecting it to be but i don't mean that in a negative way and for an 11 percent abv beer you're not picking up that 11% ABV. No way are you picking that up. Maybe slight warming sensation as it goes down, but there's no harshness on the back end. There's no burn on the back end. There's really no alcohol flavours. just has that sort of like sweet liqueur sort of edge to it. But yeah, quite binous as well. You're getting fruit characteristics you're getting slightly hoppy characteristics and you're getting these cakey desserty indulgent characteristics but it all comes together so beautifully this is drinking way too easily it, it's ridiculous which is both a good thing and a bad thing depends on which side of the fence you're sat on i, I was expecting this beer to be like it'll take me a few hours to drink but those flavours in there, and the gentleness of it all, and that masked alcohol, it's surprisingly drinkable for an 11% uh, Imperial Stout. It's beautiful stuff. As I'm talking now, I'm getting these slight berry fruits coming out. I was saying that you don't really get the alcohol. You get this slight boozy feeling in your mouth, like uh, when you can smell alcohol on someone's breath. Or you can feel the alcohol from like a night out on your breath. That's the sort of thing I'm getting. But it's not an unpleasant thing at all. I'm getting like digestive biscuits in this beer. I'm getting brownies. I'm getting dark chocolate. Little hints of a lighter chocolate. Brown sugar. Like these treacly tones. Ginger biscuits. There's a lot going on in this beer. And then you get this lovely slightly prickly hoppiness in there which just takes it to another level almost to the point where it's got this slight black ipa sort of flavor in there as well but it doesn't stray from being what it is an imperial stout you're getting that first and foremost but there are these little intricacies within the beer that makes it stand out from what you would classically expect an imperial stout to be so just the right amount of hops it's not too rich it's not too heavy uh, it's probably maybe a little bit too light on the gut actually because you could get into some serious trouble with this beer you're really really good i review these beers and my score comes from what i'm feeling at the moment I could have had a shitty day and that's probably going to affect a beer score. I could have had the best day of my life and, you know, even the shittest beer is going to be a high scored beer. But this is just wonderful. Um, I was expecting something special and I've got something special. And it's a little bit different than most Imperial Stouts. So it has that little bit of an edge. And of course it's presented absolutely beautifully. So, surprise, surprise clueless drinker living up to his name is given another 10 out of 10 
fantastic beer absolutely fantastic so that was uh, kinder yoga from oedipus over in amsterdam i so want to try more of their beers because i just love some of the names that they gave to the beers i love the artwork on their beers and going off this beer alone fantastic stuff i've always enjoyed imperial stouts but they're really starting to become probably my favorite style of beer or they're definitely getting up to that point so um yeah as i'm talking now i'm feeling the alcohol warmth now and i'm getting a little bit of a buzz so i'm gonna definitely be taking my time with the rest of this beer i'd love to see what a barrel aged version of this beer would taste like jesus christ so if you've tried this beer as always let me know your thoughts and opinions down below what are some of your favorite imperial stouts Give me suggestions of beer that I should try in the future. If you tried any more beers from these guys, which ones do you recommend I make an effort to seek out? And uh, yeah, check out Oedipus Brewing down below. Check out Sasa Astoya as well. I'd love to promote uh, the designers of these labels as much as the brewers themselves. And of course, check out Beretta because you've got to promote the, the people that sell the beer as well. Long, rambly video going to be editing this one down a fair bit. Thank you guys for watching and I shall hopefully see thee later. Cheers.